Hi, everybody, and welcome back. I'm Steve. This is Heather. And let's stay right here at Harris for Sunday's seventh race. It was a 40 claimer. The town hero was the 5 to 2 favorite, a lukewarm favorite. One of my favorite horses, I want to be sedated, was the 3 to 1 second choice. And Steeler, no doubt named for the Pittsburgh team, was the 4 to 1 third pick. Here's James with a call. Up the back stretch, it's incredible art by a length and a half from Delray in the pocket spot. The town hero is advancing first over. He's drawn within a length and three quarters of the lead. Steeler is locked in at the cones. Mikey Rooney is second over and slightly gapping his cover. Green possession is third over with four lengths to find. I want to be sedated in tight quarters. And Kentucky Rebel is last. Three quarters in 123 and one. They're midway around the far turn. It's incredible art by a diminishing nose. The town hero draws on level terms. Delray will await the open stretch. Mikey Rooney is re rallying. Steeler needs racing room. They cut the corner, and it's incredible art hanging tough by a head. The town hero is right there with Delray in the open stretch. Mikey Rooney, center of the track in the final strides. Incredible art and the town hero. It's very tight. Incredible art with Cat Manzi wins by a head over the favorite, the town hero and Goodell in 152 and 2. I'm sorry, 151 and 2. Mikey Rooney, 7 to 1 with Tietrich, closed for third. And now, as promised, we're going to have a word with Cat Manzi about how he's doing. He's back in the harness, where he belongs, in the sulky, rather. And here's Cat. First of all, Cat, welcome back. It's nice to see you. Well, it's very nice of you to say that. <laughs> well, I hate to make you relive the whole accident, but I'm going to. Um, just tell me what happened. You were sitting at the, actually, the back of the pack. So how did you get hurt the most? Well, you know, just lucky, I guess, you know. It, you know, when I watched the replay, I thought, you know, a couple of those guys should have got killed and, and they came out of it great. And that's all it is. It's, it's a matter of luck. I was last and, you know, a horse fell and it, I couldn't quite miss it. Got my wheel hooked the last one and, you know, tossed me out. Uh, you know, I landed hard on the ground, you know, broke myself up a little, but, you know, could have been worse. What exactly were the injuries? Well, I broke my collarbone, uh, same place I broke it 25 years ago, so it, it, it was, they were a little concerned about that, and I, I fractured a few ribs. Uh, aside from that, I was just uh, all black and blue on one side, uh, colorful, sort of. <laughs> you kind of matched your colors already, so yeah. there you go. Um, now, you have over 13,000 wins. You've been a little banged up before also. This isn't your first accident. Uh, why do you keep doing this? Do you ever think, you know what, I'm just going to retire and hang out with my family? Yeah, I think that. And then, then I realize that, you know, this is about the only thing I can do, so I do it. And uh, it, I, it's never going to change. I, I'm going to do it as long as, you know, somebody wants me to drive. I'm going to be doing it. Well, I heard you did a lot of crossword puzzles during your time off, uh, but I have to find out, since you broke your collarbone and you have a toddler in the house, did it keep you from having diaper-changing duties, or did you have to do it more since you were home? Well, the truth was, my, my diaper-changing duties were the same. I, I haven't, uh, this is the first one of uh, many that we've had that I didn't do any diaper-changing. Are you serious? Totally off the hook. Well, you know, she let me off the hook. Yeah, it was nice of her. <laughs> all right. Well, all right, Ellen. Very nice wife out there. And thank you. Uh, thank you. So I was going to say thank you, husband. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> thank you, Kat. I'm sure you're a great husband and a great dad. Thanks for being on the show. All right. It's nice to be here. Wasn't it great to see the cat man back? Oh, absolutely. I mean, he's such a nice guy. I mean, everybody loves cat. And he's like, you know, he's like the elder statesman now. But he's still good and he still wins races. That's right. So it was a pretty interesting interview. Let's look at Sunday's. 10th race here at Harris Chester, and with that, here's Kelly Ripa. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> hey, I've got the <laughs> open handicap. Of course, that's a feature race here at Chester. Sharky Osborne, tough guy. He was a Dover Downs Horse of the Year last meet. Mm -hmm. No perfect ex escape. Earned a lifetime mark of 149 and 3 just a few starts back right here at Chester. Yep. And Pallone Ranger, he is a winner of over $1 million. And a hard knocker, too. Yes. Let's see what happens. And they're off. Darky Osborne shows speed at the cones, and so too does Total Truth. No perfect escape will track that pair to the first turn, and it's Sharky Osborne using inside position to take the early lead. Sharky Osborne by a length and a quarter from Total Truth, who is parked by No Perfect Escape, and these three are two and a half clear of Pallone Ranger. It's then another break of two to George at Biggs, and four lengths last is Michael's Marvel, and Sharky Osborne will lead them through an opening quarter of 26 and two. They come past us for the first time with Sharky Osborne by a length and a half from No Perfect Escape in the pocket spot, and Total Truth has dropped back to third. Pallone Ranger is fourth and four and a half from the front. 
George at Biggs is fifth, and Michaels Marvel is sixth and last as they race single file into the bridge turn behind Sharky Osborne. Sharky Osborne leads a length and a half from No Perfect Escape in the pocket. Total Truth is a stalking third. Pallone Ranger is first over now within two and a half lengths of the leader. George at Biggs is following his cover, and it's two lengths to trailer Michaels Marvel. The half was 56 and one. Up the back stretch, Sharky Osborne holds a length and a quarter lead from Pallone Ranger, who moves up in a second from first over. No perfect escape is locked in. Georgette Biggs is well positioned second over. He's just two off the lead with five sixteenths to travel. Total Truth has some three and a half to make up, and Michaels Marvel continues to trail. He's five lengths off leader Sharky Osborne past three quarters and one twenty-three and four. They're midway around the far turn. It's Sharky Osborne by a diminishing neck. Pallone Ranger continues to close in. No perfect escape awaits the open stretch. Georgia Biggs is in the clear. Total Truth needs racing room. Top of the stretch, it's Sharky Osborne. And he's under a challenge from No Perfect Escape. Pallone Ranger center of the track, Georgia Biggs, and it's No Perfect Escape in the open stretch to win. After getting a perfect trip, No Perfect Escape. No play on words. <laughs> uh, no, right? absolutely no. not. <laughs> Wins in 151 with Tim Teacher driving. This horse is trained by Joe Hunderfunt. I want to tell you, Joe Hunderfunt, good dad. He took two harness horses. To school for show and tell. How about really? that? Yeah. He's been around forever, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's got a whole bunch of kids, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and grandkids. So, anyway, <laughs> um, Sharky Osborne did the work on the front. He was second, and Pallone Ranger ended up being third. All right. When we come back, we'll have more from Harris Chester, and also we'll go back, back in time and have a look at this week's Blast from the Past. Stay with us. This is where it begins. Here's where it ends. Ron Pierce surging him on. It's Donato Hanover. It's the Donato Tonian. Hanover Shoe Farms, the greatest name in harness racing. Sue is the paparazzo of the group. She's the one that takes the photos of the things you want to remember, and a few things you don't. Everyone plays a part at Harris. Only 10 minutes south of the Philadelphia airport.